The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Thank you. First question, please. Oh, really disappointed, obviously. Um, well beaten in the end. Uh, off to a really good start. Um, had a good chance to maybe make it 2-0. I probably would have needed that. Uh, but the two goals we conceded in the space of a couple of minutes just uh, um, knocked us for six, really. And very, very poor goals as far as we're concerned. Really poor, and of course it turns the tide. It means then that you're uh, you're chasing a game, and um, we needed some goals in the second half to try and get back into the game. Made a couple of changes, and um, obviously as as we're trying to press, if we are trying to, uh, Denmark took advantage of us and um, deserved to go through. Beat us, beat us convincingly in the end. Is it? Are you angry after after that, or or, or is it more sensitive? Um, yeah, I, I'm naturally disappointed because we've um, um, a couple of nights ago in Copenhagen we've have, um, we had have, uh, fought very very strongly. Tonight was our opportunity for us. I thought that uh, um, I thought we could win the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Thought we could win the game, and um, and naturally with the start that we got, it was great. Would be, I think we definitely needed the second goal. Well, well I suppose you can, uh, you know, um, people can, um, uh, you, you can come to all sorts of conclusions at the end of it all, and um, who am I to uh, disagree with them? But no, we got off to, as I said just earlier there, we got off to a really great start. And while um, while Denmark had a had a chance themselves, we had two really decent chances to make it two 0 Particularly James has just flown past the post. We needed that to go in really, you know, to uh, to give us a real, real strong foothold in the game. And even the, even if um, Denmark would score, we're still in command of the game. We've conceded the poor goals, and uh, and as I say, you can. Um, I suppose you can come up with any sort of assumption at the end of it all. Um, we were well beaten in the end. Do you feel that your half-time substitution reads are gone? Uh, yeah, that maybe a little bit too exposed? Yeah, I, 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 I can't disagree with that. It did. We needed to... Um, uh, we needed to try and get some goals. We needed a little bit of width again back in the side. And what happens, of course, is that... Um, um, uh, in terms of strength, physical strength, then you lose that little bit as well too in the side. Uh, but we needed to try and uh, get some goals, and um, and it wasn't to be. And uh, Denmark uh, made us pay for it. And just wondering, what's next for you now? Do you intend on signing that contract sometime soon? Is it still on the table? Well, I have no idea. Sometimes soon, is it still on the table? Well, I haven't spoken to John since uh, since we talked about it. So. Um, I'll uh, I'll speak to John. I'm sure. I thought that there was an agreement. I thought that, but uh, I'll speak to John in the next couple of weeks. Anyway. Mark, could a result like that impact you in terms of your own intentions about wanting to set up for two years? I do you know what I have to have a real thing about it. We were beaten in a playoff game here. We fought tooth and nail to try and get into this position. This wasn't the uh, this wasn't the, the first game of. Um, of a new campaign. This was a playoff match to take us to the World Cup. The disappointment obviously is very, very strong tonight because we haven't been able to do it. And um, but I have to I have to commend the players on on getting this far. You always say football is a results business, but tonight you didn't get a result. Has your luck finally run out? <coughs> hmm? Has your luck finally run out? Uh, what luck's that? I mean? well, if there was many of us would it? 
a lot of it is based on waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Why we made a mistake, well, that's uh, simply not true. Simply not true. I don't win those trophies that I've won, both as a player and as a manager, and have some luck. Everybody gets entitled to a little bit of luck. So I totally disagree with you. And, uh, I totally disagree with you. But we were well beaten tonight by a side who are actually technically better than us and, per and have actually probably a world-class player playing in the team. But um, no, I don't. Uh, I don't agree with you in terms of luck running out. I think it's been a commendable effort by the team, and I think that um, I've won enough uh, trophies as a manager to show. And well, actually, I was involved in the UEFA final, so I must have got some luck to get there. Question? Any more? No. Oh. Right. Last question. The nature of the, the nature of the defeat, but now they know sort of what they've seen and stuff for for Russia the next summer. Does that in a sense make it a bit easier to start preparing straight away for the next the next step on the No, no, I can't I can't think of that tonight. It's a major disappointment us not getting there. And um, and because of that there I I wouldn't be tomorrow morning wouldn't be my first thought of thinking about um, um, getting ourselves prepared for the, uh, the competition that will take place. I think the draws in January or something like that. But uh, no, just tonight, still disappointing. Okay. Christian Eriksen on his performance tonight. Yeah, he played very, very well. Give him a lot of room to play, in, particularly in the second half. But he's, he's a top-class player, and he proved it tonight. Okay, thank you.